everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, a San Francisco-based Burmese-American writer, blogger, translator, and language instructor. What you're listening to is Do Dong Bom Ye, Do Dong Bom Ye, Our Home in the Highlands, a song about the beauty of the Chin Highlands in Western Burma. Dong Bom Ye, Cherry Way, Dong Zala Bam Ya Pu Buen Ne, Shu Dai Ye, Dong Dam Ya Si Ma Le, La Ba Sui, Nian Zai Jin. The specific line I want to highlight is this one. Mian Zijin. Mian Zijin. I want you to see. It's part of the line that goes, Come, my friend, I want you to see the customs of the Chin people. A verb followed by zejende or sejende means you want this action to happen. You want somebody to do this action. You want this event to occur. So here the verb happens to be mien, mien, to see or to witness something. So mien zejende, mien zejende means I want you to see. I want you to witness this. Why did the line terminate with zejin instead of zejende? The way people would normally say it in everyday life, that has to do with the rhythm of a song. The song has, if you notice, a three-syllable structure set up at the very beginning. Dong Bo Mie, three syllables. A place on the mountain tops of the highlands. Cherry Way, the cherries are blooming. Also three syllables. So that's why here, instead of Mian Zai Jin De, it ends with Mian Zai Jin to match the other lines. This is the lesson for this episode: how to express desire with a structure so you can say things like, "I wish you'd come to Boston. I want you to come to Paris with me. I wish you'd remember me. I hope you'd remember me," and so on. Let's take a look at other examples of the use of verb followed by the structure zejende or sejende. Suppose you're a fan of the Netflix Korean TV show Squid Game. To watch. In Burmese, as in watching a movie or a play, is jide, jide. So if you want to tell somebody, I wish you'd watch Squid Game. You say Squid Game, jize jinde. Squid Game, jize jinde. If you want somebody to go to Osaka or recommend that he or she goes to Osaka, you say Osaka thwaze jinde. Osaka thwaze jinde. Thwaze, of course, is the verb. To go, thwaze jinde makes it want you to go, wish you'd go. But there may be times when you actually want somebody not to do something. So you need to know the negative form of this structure. Thwaze is to go, but thwabu is the negative version of the verb. Thwaze. If you're trying to tell somebody, I don't want you to go to Osaka, you have to say Osaka matwaze jinbu. Osaka matwaze jinbu. That makes it. I wish you wouldn't go to Osaka, or I don't want you to go to Osaka. By the way, don't try telling me this because Osaka happens to be one of my favorite cities. So as soon as Japan opens again to international travelers, I intend to go there. These examples, of course, are when you're making a suggestion directly to somebody. There may be times when you express a desire that you wish somebody would do X or Y, or you wish somebody wouldn't do X or Y. So you need to clarify or state who you are talking about in those cases. If you want your sister, specifically your older sister, to watch Squid Game on Netflix, you'd say, "Amago Squid Game, cheese agent." Amago Squid Game, cheese agent. Where "ama" is the word for your older sister, and "go" makes it the object of your sentence. If you want to say, "I wish my mom would go to Osaka with me," you'd say, "Amego chanone Osaka thwaze jende." Amego chanone Osaka thwaze jende. Where "ame" is the word for your mother, "amego" makes it the object of your sentence, and "chanone," of course, is with me. The verb "thiyare" means. To remember or to recall. So, if you want somebody to remember you, you say, "Chenogu thiya zejende." Chenogu thiya zejende. I want you to remember me. I hope you'd remember me. I wish you'd remember me.
Meire. Meire is to forget. So you can use the negative version of that to say, Tanogo, mameze jimbu. Tanogo, mameze jimbu. I don't want you to forget me. I wish you won't forget me. Let's go back to the song for a moment. Remember this line? It says, Dangbo chimya ye de lady. That means the customs of the Chin people in the highlands. So if you want to say, I wish you could see the customs and the traditions of the Chin people, I want you to see that. You'd say, Dangbo chimya ye de lady. One more time. Dangbo chimya ye de lady. Nyinze jinde. Gaba is the word for the world. So gabago is the object case of that word. So if you say gabago dangbo chimya ye de lady. Nyinze jinde. You are actually saying, I want the world to see the customs and the traditions of the Chin people. I wish the world would see that. The Chin people are, indeed, a peaceful, hospitable, ethnic community. But right now they are suffering, just like many others, from the attacks of the Burmese military that wants to bring the country back to military rule. This is the last episode I'm making before Christmas, so I think some Christmas wishes are in order. I wish the Chin state could be the way it was. I wish it would be peaceful. So let me say, Chin Pine, Nyeng Jan Zejende. And I want my homeland, Burma, to be free, free from military rule. So let me say, Myamapi Lulla Sejende. Myamapi Lulla Sejende. Merry Christmas if you happen to be celebrating it, and if not, Happy Holidays. Next spring, I will be teaching Introductory Burmese Part 2 at UC Berkeley, and my class is available as a distant learning course to students from other UC campuses. So if you signed up for it, I'll see you in the class, virtually or in person. I've also just started a podcast series for intermediate and advanced learners, so if you want to check it out, go to the URL on screen or click on the link in the YouTube description box. Until next year, stay safe, happy learning, and I will leave you with Joel's song, Do Tang Bo Mi, our home in the highlands, that is, home of the Chin people. Cherry way, down the love of me.